In time, Turkey has reaffirmed its commitment to investing in various sectors of the Kenyan economy to increase bilateral trade and support the country's Big Four agenda. Details in our Business News Roundup. Following a 2016 agreement between Kenya and Turkey after a visit by Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan, Turkish investors are seeking to increase their investments from 350 million US dollars to over 1 billion US dollars in the next few years. Speaking during a tour of Tatu City, the Turkish ambassador to Kenya, Ahmed Semil Miroglu, said Turkish investors are scouting for various investment opportunities throughout Kenya in key sectors such as real estate and manufacturing. More than 70 companies that are either operational or under development and construction in Tatu City. Uh, they range from multinationals, uh, Turkish investor investments, uh, but really uh, global scale investments. We are looking for a win-win, uh, I mean, cooperation with uh, Kenya. Old Mutual and KICD have commenced the development of financial literacy online orientation course for junior and senior secondary school teachers. The course is designed to equip teachers with the capacity to effectively implement the financial literacy concepts that are to be mainstreamed into the curriculum during the learning process. Elsewhere, Techno Kenya has announced launch of Common 19 series and Spark 9 series. The event marked the first joint official release of Techno Mobile Kenya devices. Techno has also announced that it is among the first to make Android 13 Beta available on its latest Common 19 Pro 5G. Today, a consumer who doesn't have access to the internet misses out access on very important services, whether it's banking, whether it's education, even education, and even um, uh, you know, services like government health. Microsoft has reaffirmed its commitment to working with both the private and public sectors to accelerate digital transformation in African agriculture. Speaking during a virtual roundtable panel discussion on the topic, Microsoft Kenya Acting Country Manager Kunle Awasika said the organization has a goal of developing agritech that enables data-driven, precise and connected farming. Dennis Otieno, Citizen TV.